Well, we are officially just weeks away from the return of the A-League All-Stars taking on Barcelona at a core stadium. So I thought I'd put together my choice for my A-League All-Stars. And look, I do want to preface this before running to the team that for me, the All-Stars isn't just the best team you could put together, the best performing team in the A-League with the best players. It's for me, a mix of that and, but also a mix of players with the biggest stature and the star players, the celebrity players who maybe haven't necessarily performed that well in this in, in recent seasons, but I think deserve to be on this big stage coming up against a star-studded side like Barcelona. Starting off in goals for me, it's actually a pretty easy choice. It has to be Jamie Young. Not only has he been, for me, the best goalkeeper in the A-League this season, leading the stats when it comes to saves and clean sheets. I mean, he's been one of the best A-League goalkeepers for the past few years. I mean, you know, Western United this season, Brisbane Raw in previous years. He's an experienced campaigner now, Jamie Young, and for me, deserves to be wearing the gloves in the All-Stars match. I've gone for quite an international mix when it comes to the back four. And at right back, I'm starting with Yavi Lopez. The Adelaide United right back is incredibly underrated. If you look at his stats every game, he puts in such a massive shift, not only in defense, but in attack too. Considering his age, he's, he's incredibly hardworking. He's got incredible stamina. And for me, I think a player of his quality should be playing in the All-Stars game. The first central defender that I locked in in my All-Stars lineup was Lee Lacroix from Western United. And I think he's going to be in just about everyone's All-Stars lineup. I mean, the man is absolute class. He's arrived on Australian shores and has just torn the A-League apart uh, from the back for Western United. He is an absolute man mountain. He is fantastic on the ball as well. His ball playing abilities are superb and has been a big reason why Western United have succeeded so much and has played at some decent clubs in Europe as well. So he's got the pedigree. I think Lacroix is absolutely a lock for the All-Star squad. And alongside him, I've got Melbourne Victory centre-back Roderick Miranda. And this was when I was tossing up with, I was considering putting Curtis Good there. But Roderick Miranda, a similar thing to Leo Lacroix, a central defender from Europe who has, who has come to the A-League and has performed so well, especially in the last few months for Melbourne Victory, has just looked so solid and has been super consistent throughout the whole season for Melbourne Victory. I think it would be really exciting to see Miranda and Lacroix partnering each other in the centre of defence. At left back, I'm sticking with the Melbourne victory trend and going for Jason Davidson. And again, this is one of the positions I was tossing up with a couple options with. I was even considering Scott Jamison. He's a guy that's been playing in the A-League forever at a number of clubs. I could see him slotting in there. Is he the best left back option? Probably not. Jason Davidson, though, is the one for me. Ben Garuccio potentially could, pop, could possibly slot in there. But Jason Davidson, a former Socceroo, has been really impressive under Tony Popovich and Melbourne Victory this season. Again, super consistent. And I think that makes out a solid back four. So Yavi Lopez right back, Leo Lacroix Miranda's my two central defenders, and left back Jason Davidson. And playing behind them in goals, Jamie Young. It's time to go to midfield now. And this is probably where I should reveal my formation. I'm going for a 4-3-3 formation, but it is pretty aggressive. I'm sort of playing with two number 10s here. But in the defensive midfield role, this was a tricky one for me. You know, do you want to go, you know, with another sort of attacking midfielder in that sort of role or, or, or more of an out-and-out -out, uh, defensive midfielder? And I think this is a guy who can certainly slot in, in that number six role, Conor Metcalf at Melbourne City. Absolutely love watching him play. He's just come so far in his, in his short A-League career at, at Melbourne City. He's one of the top midfielders in the league. And for me, definitely deserves a spot in this all-star squad. Could you throw potentially Neil Kilkenny? He was the one I was considering putting in there as well, maybe. But for me, Conor Metcalf, he's absolute class. He's going to be playing Europe next season. Has to be in the all-star squad for me. For the two number 10s ahead of Conor Metcalf, these are two guys that I absolutely had locked in the lineup from the get-go. Ulysses De Villa from MacArthur SC, I think is an absolute lock for me. Just the impact that he has on, on, on his side. Unfortunately for him, MacArthur didn't make the finals this season, but Ulysses De Villa can is, is an absolute magician when he's on the ball, and I would love to see him playing in this All-Star squad. And similarly, I think Daniel Pena has to slot into that midfield. He's been so much fun to watch. He's brought so much life and so much energy to that Newcastle Jets squad, and his ability to score long-range goals, to switch the play you know, from one side to another. He's another one of those magicians where we're on the ball, playing behind a potent front three could be really dangerous and exciting to watch in an A-League All-Stars line. Now it's time for my front three and I've actually got three Aussies in the front three. Starting on the right wing, I'm going for Matt Leckie. Leckie's been a really interesting one to watch in the A-League this season. You might remember those first couple months. He was really 
really, really quiet. He wasn't really doing much. He he seemed to take a little while to settle into the A-League. And then from the midway part of the season onwards, he just he, he burst into life and has been absolutely superb for Melbourne City, scoring goals, assisting goals, and has just looked so dangerous uh, in the second half of the season for Melbourne City. And of course, a soccer, I think, you know, someone of the stature of Matt Leckie has to be playing in the A-League All-Stars. Alongside him up front, is this is a very easy choice for me, has to be Jamie McLaren. I mean, the man looks like he's going to win the Golden boot once again this season in the A-League and of course the soccer is striker. I mean he's an absolute star. He is the star striker of the A-League. There are some good options around there and I'm going to talk about some of those in a second when we look at the bench but for me Jamie McLaren I mean he has to be starting. And to round out the starting 11 on the left wing I've got a player who I genuinely think will win the Johnny Warren medal this season. It's Craig Goodwin from Adelaide United. He has, for me, had his best season in the A-League this season for Adelaide United. What a player. Not only does he score goals, but he assists goals. His crossing ability, I think, is unmatched in the A-League. Maybe Craig Noon, the only other player who's able to whip in a ball like, like Craig Goodwin. He is absolutely superb. And again, the soccer, I think, has to be playing in this squad. When you look at the bench, there's certainly a number of options that could slot in there. But for me, I've gone for seven players who I think deserve to be in this squad and hopefully will make an appearance in this game. In goals, Mark Birigidi, superb for Central Coast Mariners. Whether you could throw Ollie Sale in there as well, but I think Mark Birgitti deserves a spot in this all-star squad. I've gone for two defenders on the bench. I'm going for Curtis Good. I mentioned him earlier. I think he deserves to be in this all-star squad. One of the best central defenders in the league. And then for my other defender, I've gone for Scott Jamison. I did mention him earlier. And I think, you know, despite him maybe not being one of the best defenders in the league with his experience across the competition I think he also deserves a spot on the bench for the All-Stars. Two midfield options for the bench I've gone for two really exciting creative players who have had solid seasons for their respective clubs Florin Berenguer, Melbourne City, Jay O'Shea from Brisbane Raw have both been superb. Even Berenguer in with a shout for the Johnny Warren medal. And up front, I've gone for two Perth Glory players. Of course, they've had a terrible season, but Bruno Fornaroli for me has to be in this squad. He's been an absolute star striker for the A-League in the recent seasons. And Daniel Sturridge, I think, slots in there as well. And that's a bit of a contentious one, maybe. But again, if you look at this match, an All-Stars game, a one-off, if Daniel Sturridge is fit and if he's still in the country, I think he has to play in this game. You know, if not him, Beckham Mikkeldatsi could easily slot in there for me. He's been fantastic this season for Newcastle. But Daniel Sturridge, if he's in the country, if he's available, we have to get him playing in this All-Stars match. Let me know who you're picking for your All-Star squad in the comments below. We'd love to hear him. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit like, and I'll see you in the next one.